Hello epic viewers from around the multiverse, prepare to bask in unprecedented glory because this is episode 6 of Eating My Way to Optimal House as a former raw vegan. And as you guys unequivocally know, I'm now a fruitarian, so I've taken on that role of being the one and only ineffably epic fruitarian in the multiverse who consumes nothing other than fruits in tandem with vegetables. So without further delay, without further ado, without further procrastination, let's commence the frivolities. But, for, but before we do so, I just want to preface this video by apprising you of the benefits appertaining to eating radishes. Why? Well, it's relevant, it's germane, and um, it will likely tickle your fancy and appease you. You'll find this content to be sensational, don't worry. So let's just um, divulge those benefits real briefly, and I'll spew, off the, I'll spew those benefits I'll, I'll spew those benefits out of my vocal folds. I know that sounded uncanny and off kilter and awkward and peculiar, but this video is supposed to be entertaining and enthralling and bedazzling to say the least, so it's all contextual. Now, radishes helps prevent piles. As you guys know, they're um, nutrient dense and they're chock full of essential vitamins and minerals. The same with micronutrients and you need to thrive, prosper, and flourish. They help you ex they help you lose excess weight. So they help you attain weight loss. They improve cardiovascular systems. They help contract tumors. They aid the digestive process. So they aid in digestion. They help remedy respiratory disorders. They help minimize blood pressure. They help, re they help regulate diabetes. They improve your epidermis. They treat fevers. They safeguard the kidneys. They treat insect bites. They attenuate pain and swelling and inflammation. They keep you hydrated. As you guys know, fruits and vegetables are primarily comprised of water, and um, they're water in its utmost perfect form, so they're 9 to 10 times more hydrating than distilled water by itself, because your body knows how to assimilate water inside fruit and vegetables or frugivores at heart, and we only have the anatomy to be frugivores. We have long intestines, high pH levels, flat teeth, and we have vessels devoid of any innate weaponry, unlike a true carnivore. They help you rectify respiratory conditions. They boost your immunity. And of course, they protect your gallbladder and the liver. And they provide a myriad of other benefits. They can help treat headaches, migraines, acidity, constipation, nausea, obesity, sore throats, coughs, gastric issues, gallstones, and inflammation. As you guys know, they're packed with antioxidants. and plant-based enzymes. There was something else that I wanted to mention, but it eludes me. But whatever. I apologize about that digression. Let's move on. So, I've been waiting for the sodium fluoride to evaporate and dissipate and to um, dry off. My hand is tainted with chlorine, sodium fluoride, and other noxious, deleterious, insalubrious compounds that the tap water is contaminated with. If you drink the tap water, it will adversely impinge 
on your ability to um, function optimally. It contains acute neurotoxins, lethal compounds, and it's hazardous to your health. It renders you docile, subservient, and a myrmidon once consumed. So if you want to liberate your mind and keep your cerebral faculties intact and in pristine condition, if you want them to be unscathed, then desist, reframe, and eschew the tap water. Don't concede to drinking the tap water just because it's convenient. Convenience can be deadly. It's convenient to be sedentary. It's convenient to um, remain indolent for prolonged periods of time. It's convenient to um, be idle, but you gotta create riveting content and entertain the multiverse to make inroads in life, or you need to attain pragmatic, marketable skills to um, attain a decent paying job in an employer's market that is characterized by, or I should say, with hyper competition. Or perhaps characterized is not the right word here. I should say that is, or maybe it is, maybe it's by. Sorry about the faux pas. Yeah. It's an employer's market characterized by hyper competition. So, let's move on. We're eating the cauliflower, which is characterized by high level of alkalinity. Its pH level is undoubtedly above seven. These foods will help me mitigate the deleterious effects of free radical damage. And as you guys know, they contain a cornucopia of, nutri of nutrients, vitamins, macronutrients, micronutrients, flavonoids, plant-based enzymes, fiber, phytonutrients, and other salubrious compounds that I neglected to mention. And my avocados contain melanin, which helps sedate me. Melanin is a pigment on avocados. Just to give you some context, this is my first time eating in um, 30 in, I think it's been over 32 hours, just slightly over 32 hours. The crux of the issue is that I work two full-time jobs. I can't keep up with my back burner. I just don't have any time. So hopefully eating these foods will rekindle my spirit, will imbue me with energy, will revitalize my health, and will allow me to thrive, prosper, and flourish in my future worthwhile endeavors. I'm trying to sustain these two jobs and I continue to falter and fall behind. I don't want to regress. I want to make inroads towards progression and get ahead of my life. And to do that, I need my body to be functioning optimally, but I can't with two jobs because the jobs impinge on my ability to attain REM sleep, to eat enough calories, and to relish my sacrosanct life in the simulation. I gotta take care of my vessel so that I'm not evicted from the simulation.
energy can never be created nor destroyed. However, my vessel is vulnerable to malfunctioning. So, take solace in knowing that if you take care of your multi billion dollar vessel, it will correspondingly take care of you. Your vessel is your subconscious mind. You vicariously experience the simulation through your vessel. Even though your consciousness is more omniscient and your vessel doesn't have a mind of its own, it's your marionette that your consciousness presides over. It has imperium, jurisdiction, and purview over your vessel's actions. So leverage your vessel wisely and don't unnecessarily expend your vessel's calories. You'll need them. I'm nourishing my body. I'm renutrifying my body. And no one can control our outlook on life except you, so don't let anyone put a damp in your mood. And eat the foods of God that can be unearthed and that trees bear. The fruits grown on trees and the vegetables excavated from the ground to um, attain optimal health. These foods are all medicinal. Let thy medicine be thy food, and thy food be thy medicine. These fruits and vegetables are my medicine. I don't consume any bastardized, adulterated, synthetic, artificial, man-made products. The fruits and vegetables are devoid of carcinogens, endocrine disruptors, neurotoxins, and other deleterious compounds. God engineered the genomes for the fruits and vegetables, and we know how to assimilate the nutrients inside them, so take advantage of all the benefits reaped by eating fruits and vegetables and assimilate the nutrients embedded within them and comport yourself with humility and gratitude because God went out of his way so we wouldn't have to work we're just meant to eat and sleep all day agriculture is automated humans can expedite the cultivation of fruits and vegetables. However, there were no humans on this planet. Fruits and vegetables would grow automatically in perpetuity until the sun engulfs the earth when it blows and expands. and becomes a red giant, or whatever the terminology is. And then it's going to wind up contracting after it expands, and then this energy will be extinguished. I think it will eventually become a dwarf star before it finally dissipates into nothing. That would suck with the multiverse. The simulation is enveloped and enshrouded and cloaked in a veil of darkness if every star burns out. But, um, hopefully, technology will be our salvation. So, I'm about to embark on an epic journey which will encompass eating the radishes. I'll eat the rest on the live stream as per the video. We're done with um, this episode, which is episode six. So eat radishes, 
eat okra, eat tomatoes, eat broccoli, eat hearts of palm, eat avocados, eat organic coconuts, eat olives, eat peaches, eat foods that leave an alkaline residue in your body post being digested. And if you want your colon to be efficient, and if you want to be able to never succumb to constipation, nor migraines, nor um, nausea, nor inflammation, then eat fruits and vegetables and let them safeguard you and um, be your panacea to averting every issue that life throws at you. So, I'll eat the divine, celestial, ineffably meritorious fruits and vegetables to um, thrive. I hope that you found this video to be fascinating. Have a wonderful, marvelous day. Goodbye.